Rams come out running. What? That's right. I said they came out running. Steven Jackson, he missed the last two games. He didn't miss this one. Ripped off 28 yards. Catch a pass. First time in 157 straight games. And on third and two, Jackson takes it in for the touchdown. 7-0 Rams. Rams opening favor just ruled an incomplete pass. Another free play for the Rams. Jackson. Takes it outside, then busts it back inside. How about 43 yards? Jackson, 148 yards rushing in the game. Most by a Rams rookie since Jerome Bettis. In to rest them, guys. I have a pretty good feel with this group, and uh, I know they'll tune it up when it's uh, uh, when it's time to you know play in the playoffs. It's thrilling. 12th place on the all-time receiving yardage list. Next up, Michael Irv, our buddy, Stephen Jackson. Touchdown. Third quarter, Rams lead. 17-9. Take another look. Antrell Roll goes out. Jackson in. Yeah, he's going to go outside, but what a nice cut. You see Jackson get the shot. You saw him Sunday night. Third and two. The pitch to Steven Jackson for the Rams. He goes in from four yards out. 34-28 to 28, Seattle. What a game this was. To the injured Isaac Bruce, the reason by the other Rams. And Steven Jackson ran up the one yard. That's a power run right there. And the Rams, without Bolger, without Tory Holt, without Isaac. Tony, he passes the great Otis Taylor, most touchdowns, Chiefs history, 50, uh, 49, 59. Mark Bolger, Stephen Jackson, he had a 200-yard day combined, rushing and receiving. Bolger, Jackson, 13 catches for 133. He's doing much better now. No, he's fired up, 18 carries. And it pads. All about the run, thanks to two game-changing backs. The blitz returns with a must. He also had a big yeah. day. Big Buster Rhymes looking dude. Coach, what's the best thing about Steven Jackson? God, he's just power. He's power. You know what? He's relentless. Got a great attitude for running the ball. He is fearless in the fact that he will take you on. I don't care if you're a linebacker or a lineman or a linebacker. Excellent receiver You're going to get well. a piece of him. Gore had a buck 34. Steven Jackson had a buck 21. Wow. Up the middle on the draw. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Buster Rhymes. I've still so never like seen Buster and Steven in the same room. I'm thinking maybe. And here they go. It's on fourth and one. Niners stop him. It's over. Steven Jackson, nice read of where the hole was not. Makes a first down. Then Linehan looking on again at fourth and one. 45 seconds to go. Jackson makes the first down and then the young Niners. Same person. For what has become the theme all season, Frank Gore and Steven Jackson continue to get it done for their teams. Just getting started. Rams right back down the field. Steven Jackson, uh, the kids call him Action Jackson. 18. To hand the. It's a sack, and then that the pick by Ron Bartell. Steven Jackson turns the turnover into a TD. 127 yards on 31 carries, two touchdowns. Now look at while he's celebrating, somebody throws something at him, a beverage at him. It's embarrassing, said Aaron Brooks. He could say that at the final, or he could be talking about that fan. 20 nothing the final. Game over. The St. Louis Rams win it on a 21-yard touchdown run by Steven Jackson. Took him all season to get one. To have any wins. Mark Bolger to Steven Jackson, and he is gone. Jackson, this is the way the Rams were supposed mm -hmm. to look. Mm -hmm. 53 yards. They had a safety early. Steven Jackson on the carry side. Step to tackle. Runs left. 35, 30. Down the sideline. 20, 15, 10, 5. That'll seal it. Seven to pack, 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 pack. And we go back for that one, Tom. Then, Steven Jackson, he's going to come around at the holidays. The, the Rams are actually you know, about a 500 club the last six years. My fourth cousin, and he gets closer. Uh, it's third, second, first, the closer he gets to the end zone. Tied at 14, but what happened here? We hit the umpire with the... Yeah, he, he shielded somebody on the backside who possibly... Seriously. Well, those uniforms were worse. <laughs> Sheldon Brown, remember the big hit he had on Reggie Bush in that playoff? Ooh. Oh! But that guess what? Offense wins Jackson. on that one. That is correct. Oh. Anytime a defensive player gets hit like that and gets up. Eagles win 38-3. Again, Cowboys, Eagles. A guy who, hey, at one point was one of the best we had in the business. But Steven Jackson could be the way the Rams get going here for this season. Untouched 29-yard run. The Rams. I mentioned we'd get back to Steven Jackson. It's time to get back Let's to Stephen Jackson. Get there. Let's just say, Merle, that he had himself Aww. a whale of an afternoon. Yes, he did. You know what? They did an excellent job of getting to the perimeter. 
of the Dallas Cowboys, and we will talk about this flaw they have had actually building up to this game. Well, that, as they say, leads to this nice cutback, and I, he was barely touched before he went across for the score. That put him up 14 to 7. Steven Jackson has not had a breakout game since getting that big contract in the offseason. Uh, you can no longer say that. Again, Merle, as you say, goes on the outside to the edge. Perimeter runs. There you on go. The edge has become a theme against the Dallas Cowboys. And the middle uh, didn't really help them either. There, he goes in for a. Uh, touchdown there and then this one you know listen you can you can rip his jersey to shreds he's still gonna run and apparently after you stitch him up he's even better because on the uh, ensuing play here or in the third quarter he's gone with a fresh jersey 56 yards for a touchdown 31 to 7 now take another look Merrill through the ESPN axis what happened I mentioned the perimeter this is what we call a perimeter run they catch the Cowboys in a stunt defensive end outside linebacker where they're slanting down now the inside linebackers will scrape to the outside but notice as Jackson gets the ball, he pulls away and goes to the sideline. This is a perimeter play, getting on the edge. Now your tackle box it. One backer, your fullback gets the other inside backer. You got a seal here and a seal here, and you got an alley right here where your factor back can roll up in there. This is the trouble the Dallas Cowboys have had against the Cardinals, against the Cincinnati Bengals, even though they won that game, and the Washington Redskins. Jackson, 160 yards, three touchdowns. The Rams in a blowout, 34 to 14. What's going on in Dallas? Dallas, here's Ed Werder. In a Cowboys territory, loose 40. 35 30 down the sideline. Good ball. I sign it all. Got it. See you later. Steven Jackson, 56 yards. And it's all. Game of first in the AFC East. If the Finns can win in St. Louis, Steven Jackson back for the Rams after missing the last three games with a thigh injury. 13 here leads to a field goal. He had 94 yards. But We're trying to knock over everybody. Officials, Lions. First down, first and 10 for the 25. Wow. The Rams have not had a rushing touchdown this year. Until now, 17-10 St. Louis. And then you thought you'd never see it. The St. Louis Rams. But if the Rams are gonna do anything, it's all about Steven Jackson. No question. Mark Bolger underneath the Jackson and watch the pile go wherever Steven goes. Get out of, get not stomach, you can't, I'm still moving. <laughs> you got to respect that's the a man in pads right there, folks. On, on, a, on a team that's not real good. Yeah. And he's Playing giving everything hard. he's got. Second quarter, Jackson up the middle, and that's a touchdown. 26 carries, 131 yards.